Hey everyone, this is Darren Benson again with Performance Motor Coaches down in Texas. We are in Texas today. The wind is windy and the sun's out. It's a nice, hot West Texas day. So we'll try to go as fast as we can outside around the coach and get inside. We've been running the air conditioners. We're not running the generator right now. We want to try to get as much sound out. But I actually had to come across the road. Uh, pretty crazy around the dealership. Uh, great time to be in the RV business. Uh, lots going on. Uh, lots in the normal uh, towable market. Lots going on in the Renegade and Show Hauler market as well. So we're happy to be here. Uh, this particular coach is a twin to a video we did last week actually up in Indiana. Other than there's a few mi minor characteristics uh, they are different basically. Number one would be the full body paint and then the aero cap. Uh, so this particular floor plan is what's called a modified CVQ. So basically it is a bath and a half with opposing seating. So pretty unique floor plan. Uh, you won't find that unit built on Renegade yet. Yet will probably be the operative term. So pretty happy with the floor plan. So basically this will have uh, seating sleeping upwards of 8 to 10 kind of depending upon where you're at. But a ton of seating, a ton of sleeping on this coach. Of course bath and a half. As far as the chassis goes, this is a Freightliner Cascadia 126. So this is the new body style. It has the DD16, which is 15.6 liter Detroit diesel, coupled to the DT12 transmission. So the Detroit 12 speed transmission. We drove this thing in over the weekend, uh, hammer down. I mean, it was as fast as you wanted to go. Uh, just can't believe how great the Freightliner Cascadia performs. A uh, ton of power, very quiet, very easy to drive, very easy to maneuver. So uh, definitely my favorite. I'll continue on until someone comes up with something just a little bit better. So you can see we're missing some, some slide toppers here. Uh, some shortages in the RV industry right now. That's the only thing that the coach is missing. Hopefully we'll have all those pieces in by the end of the week. Hopefully I don't have to carry those things back from Indiana over the next week. We're actually headed back tomorrow to meet some to meet with some customers. Do another video of another Renegade. So uh, lots going on in the Renegade world. So come down the coach pretty quick. All side swing baggage doors. We'll open them up really quick like. Super nice baggage compartments. We use a bed liner on the inside of all that. Makes it easy to be able to rinse out, wash out, wipe out as well. So dual inverters inside here. Uh, of course, when we run down the road, we'll generally run uh, both inverters and then we'll run the second air conditioner. So that's the way that it's set up to run one air conditioner driving up and down the road without having to run your generator. So it does a pretty good job keeping the heat off driving up and down the road. Nothing wild and crazy as far as batteries. So your chassis batteries up top, just some 8D AGMs down below. We can spec basically any kind of battery package a person might want and want to pay for. So we come back here. This is your wet bay combined with your gray water, black water tanks. So 75 gray, 75 gallon black. We've had some people inquire about doing additional gray water. You could do that. You would just force your inverters to go somewhere else. So that's something we'll kind of probably look into as time progresses. It's just a matter of you know consolidating space, figure out what you want here, what you want there. So nice wet bay. Let me jump around here, try to eliminate some of the shadows. Very easy to operate, very easy to get in there and fill your tanks. Uh, does have a, let me grab this little water hose underneath. Does have a automatic water hose. Take and pull that. And then as far as filling your tanks or using city pressure, very, very simple. All this is all water, water jetted into place. No stickers to have to worry about washing off and contend with. Come back, close all these guys up. 12.5 Onan generator right back behind the axle here. Very easy to service. 12 quarts of oil. Most of those uh, filters can be had pretty much anywhere. You might, uh, any national auto parts retailer, will, those will cross over, or you can buy the, the original Onan. So inside here, we have the 50 amp, that's a uh, 36 foot 50 amp cord right there. Does have the smart transfer switch right there that has the, the surge protector built in. 
and there is a 50 amp buddy plug that's inside there if you were pulling a big trailer as well. Come around back here. I wanted to spend a lot of time talking about this new Gen Y hitch. This is a 2022 aspect. I'll go with it pretty quick. We got some guys that are across, across the highway mowing. Uh, lots of noise going on. So anyway, the cool thing about this is basically you can do the 2 and 5 sixteenths or the 2 inch ball. This assembly right here is rated at 30,000 pounds. You can actually pull this pin right here and run it as a panel. And you can also pull all this out, run like a bicycle rack up top, and then just run a, a tow bar below. So a very convertible hitch, very cool hitch to be able to pull basically anything out there. Makes it pretty handy. Come around here in the shade, get a little cool down. So big three-quarter pass-through right here, great for tables, uh, maybe some ladders, uh, anything large would go back there. So a ton of room right back there. We generally spec everything, kind of difficult to see. So there is a central vac located inside that compartment right there. The central vac can be accessed uh, outside here as far as vacuuming and also to change the filter. And there is a port inside underneath the bed so you can use those tools inside the coach. Little guide lights right here. Some additional security lights down the side of the coach. 45,000 BTU aqua hot. Uh, it is plumbed to the engine so the waste heat will keep that system running up and down the road. Nice system, very easy to use, very easy to operate. So a fair amount of storage here all the way down. Like I said each and every one of those is lined. Makes it easy to clean out. That is a little piece that goes into place over your step well. If you had uh, children or elderly, or elderly people you wanted to kind of keep uh, from falling down that step well, it'd be a good little place to put in, the, good piece to put in place. You could take, I think it's this one right here. It does have some electrical, so if you want to do an outdoor uh, fridge, it'd be easy to throw in there. Outdoor TV, so 43 inch Samsung Smart TV with a sound bar down below. And there's a USB plug inside there as well. So it's difficult to kind of catch all this. I don't know if you can kind of catch it at an angle without having to get in the sun. So uh, dual awnings on this. We did the upgraded Gerard. They are a pitch sawing, so it goes out and downwards as well. Let's go ahead and get inside the coach. Try to get some of the sound out. So lots of room. Like I said, it does have the opposing seating here. It does not have the opposing slides. There's really no way to build this coach with opposing slides. There's just simply not enough room. You know, you're talking about bath and a half, bunk beds, pantry, washer, dryer. Basically every box is checked and is completely full. So there's no real room to add anything beyond this. Now a customer could go through and do theater seats, they could do dual couches, they could do any configuration as far as the furniture goes, but as far as the floor plan is pretty much set. Um, overhead bunks, those can be changed as far as uh, different widths, you can do an arrow cap, so a lot of different potentials there. Uh, we just did a regular manual, all these are just manual shades right here, less things to break in my opinion. So this is a burnished sable stain here on all the cabinets and um, that is I call this the epic slab so basically just kind of a clean more modern not a raised panel uh, and that's typically what I'll try to do on bunk bed coaches um, I'm always forget my age 46 47 basically I sell to a lot of guys my age and so they just they like that little bit cleaner look but there's a lot of different possibilities there there's different possibilities as far as windows so kind of the sky's the limit as far as the Renegade classic line as far as cabinets um, windows so there's lots of cool things you can do there I opted for a ton of storage in here uh, just because the idea of kids or friends family being able to sleep everywhere a ton of storage here and there ton of room to walk through. This does have the cab cutout as well. So if this didn't have the cab cutout, it would hang down a little bit lower. Wouldn't have this guy right here. So I'm really easy to walk in and out of the cab. We've got a fair amount of sun inside the cab. We've done lots of drive along, so we won't hit that too much. But ton of room to walk through. In fact, if you'll swap with me down the step well, I will turn around and roll back. 
So this couch right here goes flat. This does flip out right here. So you put two up there, two there, you get two there as well. This is a convertible dinette and it will go downwards and there's a little cushion that goes into place there as well. Everywhere you sit, everywhere that you would sleep, lay down, we always make sure that there's a USB in addition to 110, be able to charge your phone, be able to charge your electronics. So there, there, makes it really, it makes it really easy to use. You're not having to run extension cords everywhere. So a little bit smaller galley here. You know, the idea is more than like, I mean, lots of my customers, they just simply don't cook in the coaches. I, I kind of, you know, generally sell to either mom and pops and I try to make the kitchen as large as possible because they do more cooking inside. A lot of the larger families don't cook in them. They're, they're very specific built coaches, whether it be uh, rodeos, whether it be racing, whether it be going to the sand dunes. And so they don't cook in them too much. Uh, this is a little bit smaller kitchen, but decent room everywhere. Um, for smaller items, most people do a lot of cooking outside. I'm pretty OCD. I like to do my cooking outside. I'm not going to be cooking any cruciferous vegetables inside of a coach. No cauliflower, no uh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. So, pretty good room here. Still, uh, we we have some. We have a Northern Indiana treat inside here. We need to take out. So induction cooktop right there, single basin sink. I've actually turned this, flip-flopped this uh, kitchen around a little bit for future builds. So I just went with a single basin, uh, or a large single basin sink, and then just a single uh, cooktop right here. But this is somewhat convertible. You know, if a guy just hated it, uh, this coach is sold, in fact, so it's not, you know, it's going to its new owner. But lot, lots of different things you could do here, uh, but... Pretty happy with the layout of everything. So Samsung residential refrigerator, uh, very, you know, what I like about the residential appliances is if you have a problem, you call an appliance guy and he comes out and he can generally fix it cheaper than we can fix it in our own shop. So it makes it pretty handy to have that. Uh, we've got lots of customers that leave them in their barns or they leave them, um, you know, plugged in all the time. So leave all their, uh, ketchup and mustard and water and all that stuff in the refrigerator all the time. I would not do that in a RV fridge. So gives you a ton of room there. Pocket doors. We'll open this up. I just wanted you to kind of see how much room there is. So you could close this off right here. Be a little difficult to do it driving down the road. Be difficult to latch, but a ton of room here. I'll take and flop down in the bunk bed. So a ton of room inside the bunk bed to lay down, even for full-size adults. Controls are actually back over there to kind of isolate the master and the people sleeping itself. Decent room up there. There is the, um, that's the little cushion that goes into place for the dinette. We'll come into this half bath here. Do my proverbial plop it on the toilet. So pretty good amount of room here. Kind of lean back in the corner if you need to. Uh, decent storage here and there. All the sinks are solid surface, not stainless. They always seem to stay a little bit cleaner. And then nice vanity right here. Great latches. And then up top we have some of the Max Air Deluxes as well. So washer dryer here, just the Splendid stacked washer dryer there. If a person needed more storage and wanted to take those out, it'd be pretty easy to just take and order a, a clothes rod from Renegade or do some other kind of configuration there as well. So this is kind of where, you know, it, it ends right here as far as being able to go back to the back bathroom. You know, if you needed to, you could pop over the bed while you're driving up and down the road to go back there. Don't know why you need to do that. You could lay here as well. Takes up a little bit of room here. We'll go ahead and pause the video and then we'll open up all the slides for you guys. Okay guys, this is what it looks like fully extended. So a ton of room here, um, you know, about, about five and a half foot between couch and couch. So decent amount of room once everything is opened up. Uh, but even, even with the slides in, it's, it's still a very, very usable coach. We get guys that'll go to, you know, rolling through like a truck stop or 
um, even just pulling over at night, say going to a uh, going through like a rest stop, uh, it'd be pretty easy just to take and push that bed slide out over a curb and still be able to utilize basically the entire coach. So it makes it pretty friendly, pretty handy. Up top there, you can check out the. Uh, this is a 60 inch wide. You can go up to 66. Uh, see the ladder up there. Fortunately, I'm a little too short to get it. There's a little shelf up there to be able to put your cell phone. Uh, so pretty good amount of room up there, even for two people. And this is the Cascadia cap, so it's a little bit taller. 43 inch TV right there, uh, sound bar down below. And then there is a subwoofer that's located below the uh, kitchen sink. So I'll kind of cruise back here. Lots of spray foam. We just washed the outside. That's the way you know it's a good built coach because you got spray foam coming out everywhere. But uh, all we did was come in and wash it. We've not touched the inside at all. Pretty happy with their pantry setups right here. So you can check out how deep these guys are. It's a little tight right here, but a fair amount of room in all the pantry. Unfortunately, I wish they would change this up a little bit. It makes it easier for the installers, but that's basically all the Firefly setup. Uh, if you needed to be able to add uh, certain accessories, basically from here back is totally open. So if you were doing some, some additional Wi-Fi, uh, you, all your 12 volt is located up here, and then all your 110 is located down there. So it'd be pretty easy to convert any of that to whatever you might need. The 2022 Renegade, probably the the biggest thing inside was they did full integration with the Firefly system. So uh, previously, all your uh, heated tile floor controllers were separate, your inverter control. Now everything is all integrated within this system. So uh, you can run it off the pad. You can also run it off an iPad or your phone. So there's an app-based system to be able to utilize basically operating the entire coach. So it makes it, it essentially it makes it where you know, an eight-year-old can probably out operate it better than I could. So, cool setup. Little cruise up top here. Three rooftop air conditioners. Anything over 40 foot that comes uh, from Renegade will have three air conditioners. Anything with three air conditioners will have a 12, 5, oh, nine. So, it makes it pretty easy for you, for people to not have to worry about what they're doing there. So, come back here. There again, a fair amount of room. This is a double stacked pocket door right here that will extend all the way over. Have that little opening right there. So see the little opening up here? But great family coach and you know to me the the big thing was doing the opposing seating. You know we sell a lot of coaches with uh, two full baths, but the, basically your trade-off is you can't do the opposing seating. So, pretty happy with that. Open up. Renegade does a great job on their closet here. Ton of space. Be able to put, you know, longer items in there. Uh, be able to put all your suits in here and then your t-shirts in the middle. Leave that open. Drawers down below, all the drawers are dovetailed, they're all soft close as well. Close this up. Cabinets up top, your entertainment right there. So it does have an in-motion satellite up top. The in-motion does not come with uh, your receiver, so you'd actually need to add receivers. I think the dish receivers are about 100 bucks. Pretty easy to add. Uh, all your wiring is there. Not a problem to add that after the fact. I'm going to pop up the bed real quick. So this is a 80 inch, 80 inch long, 72 inches wide. So a decent side little mattress here. Water tanks are below there. So two 72 gallon, I'm sorry, 75 gallon. So 150 gallons below the floor there. Very easy to service, you know, to do like a, if you were going to winterize the coach, grab that guy right there. Stick it in some RV antifreeze, and the average person can winterize their coach. On each side of the bed, let me see if I can't get over here, get out of the way. There again, USBs and 110 on each side of the bed as well. There are some little shelves there to be able to you know, put a phone or a book on each side of the bed as well. Come back here. 
I'm gonna open this just to block the mirror for just a skosh. So, decent sized bathroom right here. I believe this is 41 inches from that wall to that wall. So, your average person, there's a ton of room here. These are all convertible, so they can be you know, manipulated up and down as well. Let me come back here. Pop the seat down. Uh, great for either somebody elderly, uh, for small children, or somebody needing to shave their legs. I haven't shaved my legs this this week. So a nice little area right here for some uh, shampoo conditioner. And then I guess if you didn't, this is an option right here. If you didn't have that, you could use that to shave your legs if you need to as well. Also the 2022, this is another thing I forgot. They went with a slide bar configuration. So, you know, good for kiddos back here. Get a little bit closer to their head or the, you know, if you have a fresh perm like this, then you can, <laughs> you don't have to, you can shower without getting your, 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 your perm wet. <laughs> I'll do my proverbial toilet squat right here. Decent amount of room. Have plenty of spots for the reader's digest right down here. And a little drawer right there as well. So good storage all the way around. Good colors. Burnished sable. I think this it was called the Genova. Genova solid surface countertops, matching shower, and ocean crest getting better getting better as time progresses and then depending upon who you talk to on the floor I call this a Brescia silver I've heard it called a Breca a Breccia silver but um, you know either way we'll know you just say BREC and we'll just finish the rest of it heated tile floors um, I typically don't like to do the polished tile floors for as far as utility they scratch you see all the scratches so really happy with all the colors happy with the floor plan Happy with the chassis. Uh, this coach will be going home, hopefully, before I get home from Indiana with another Renegade n next week. So uh, pretty pretty happy with everything. Um, glad you guys are always liking and subscribing to all of our YouTube videos. Um, you know, we, 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 we kind of get torn on, okay, do we do a video of every single coach? Uh, and I think it's important, especially whenever you do a new floor plan, to be able to do a video of the coaches that are very important to be able to show new and different things. Uh, obviously the floor plans, you know, like I said, I'm super happy with the floor plan. Um, we'll be back in Indiana starting tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. We will be there. Uh, we will get a video of that coach, hopefully up there in Indiana before we bring it back. And if we're lucky, we'll sell it again before it comes around. So pretty crazy coach market right now. Now's the time. Unfortunately, now's the time you really can't negotiate. So just go ahead and lay that one out right, out there right now. Uh, disappointing a lot of people, but the coaches are selling and they're selling fast. And the well-loaded coaches are flying off the shelf. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks you guys for always coming out. We appreciate it. Anybody who wants to meet us in Indiana, send me an email. Darren, D-A-R-I-N, Darren, at performancemotorcoaches.com. Don't forget to put the E-S on coaches. It is plural E-S. So... Uh, anybody wants to come out to Indiana, check stuff out, uh, we'd be glad to have you. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to custom order a coat so you can see so many different things in production. You see how they're built, you see all the colors, you'd be able to, you know, be able to come in and put a different cabinet next to this wall. And so it is, it is beneficial coming up to the factory. We also welcome anybody in Lubbock, Texas or the surrounding area that wants to stop through. Uh, we do welcome all of our customers, show hauler and renegade customers to come on back. Uh, you know, plug in for the night, need any service work, we always welcome that. Uh, the margarita machine is always going, so we welcome anybody at any point in time, especially if you just want to come shop for a coach. Great opportunity. Uh, don't have anything in stock right now, but it's always cool to be able to go through you know, some, some units that are going to the new customer or if they um, are in for service as well. So that's definitely you know, beneficial. Make sure you guys keep on checking us out. Thanks a lot.